I just want to say, uh, shout out to Nipsey Hussle, man, like, celebrate his life. It's crazy what happened to him. You know, he's a, he's a thoroughbred boy. Like, he was a, definitely a thoroughbred boy. You know, like, he was about to shed on, on the, uh, doc, to bring out the documentary for Dr. Sadie video DVD. It was going to change a lot of people's lives. Because, you know, Nipsey, he's from the hood. So, like, people in the, that's in the hood is going to listen to him. A lot of people... Then listen to Dr. C because he was kind of, you feel me? Like, they, they didn't relate to him, so they never gave him a chance. But her and Nipsey talk about it, the stuff Dr. C used to shed light on. They was going to listen, so he was going to shed light on the stuff and open up ears to people that didn't understand what Dr. C was talking about, would never give him a chance to understand. Or, so he definitely was going to change a lot of lives. And they, and they knew that just hearing a, a young brother like Nipsey come out and talk about the same stuff that Dr. C be talking about was going to have a impact on and reach a lot of young people you feel me so they, they didn't want to see a lot of young people get reached so especially people that's in the hood that uh, they, they feel as though they get their business off of of eating this, this junk and this beer that they put out there they they knew it's going it's he's going to make a big difference and change a lot of lives and not only that though he was just coming to here he was just doing the movements and just trying to bring the bloods and the crypts together like he was a definitely a positive positive dude I'm saying I, I heard uh, I heard uh, Daylight say something about that on a, uh, on a YouTube video I was watching, and, and he was doing that. That's crazy. Like he was, he was bringing the bloods and Chris together. Like I ain't even from LA. I don't even know what go down down there. I can just speculate what go down there with the beef between the bloods and the Crips. But just to know that he was he was had in play of bringing them together. That's 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 thorough. Like just to get two sides of as warring with each other to stop. And it's to collide and just to uh, combine with each other. You know, that's that's very powerful. He's a powerful boy. It's not always in with the message that you preach. It's always how you deliver it. It's about the energy you bring delivering the message. And it's about who giving it. Giving it. So when Nipsey would have preached, people would have definitely listened to it. I know I listened to Dr. Sadie myself. Like, he was a definitely, he was a, I, I, I appreciate the message in it and like he shared it to me. But, but other people would have definitely got the same message. And listen to doctors and listen to uh, Nipsey, and they probably would have started listening to Dr. C because of Nipsey. Because some people ain't gonna want to hear what this Dr. C was talking about, but this Dr. C, a lot of people that people talk about because, like, you won't look at them or view them in the same way. But Nipsey, you know, he was thoroughbred, he, he had the he had the love of the hood, he had the, he had the hood behind him, so he had the streets behind him, so he was, he was gonna definitely listen to Nipsey. So, and it's crazy because, like, I seen that a young brother get killed. And the untimely death that was doing such a positive thing, like, you know, we all go through losses and stuff like that. You feel me? Like, being from the hood, I'm, I'm from Philly, I'm, I'm, I'm from the hood too, so I understand how that go. Like, you know, I, I lost a couple of homies and it always hurt. It definitely always hurt. Like, you feel me? You don't want to see nobody get buried that you love. You don't, don't want to go to nobody's funeral. You don't, it, it hurt. And, but the thing is that we retaliate sometimes. You retaliate, and then if you, take somebody else, boom, now they go going to retaliate too. You take somebody else to yours, now that's more hurt, that's double hurt, or that's triple hurt, or however the case may be. You're always going to be hurt, or then they come back, you retaliate again, and then and they retaliate again. Now you just still hurt. So it's like violence beget violence, so beefing is never the answer. And that's and Nipsey knew that. So that's why he was trying to bring the two hoods together. He was trying, he was trying to bring the, the blood and the crypts together. And it's like, how can we survive if we, if we killing each other? And how can we survive if we don't even take care of ourselves? If you, don't even, you don't even know how to take care of yourself. You wasn't taught how to take care of yourself. You wasn't taught the proper or the proper nutrients or, or, or proper foods you need to put in your body. Because that stuff that they happens that they teach you is all lies. It's, Everything they, they say FDA approved, everything is FDA approved, but is it really approved? Because a lot of stuff they approve here in other countries, you don't even eat. It's crazy. Like, even, hopefully somebody pick up to where he left off at and they, and they, uh, they pick up the torch and they keep the movement going for what he was trying to do. In this in the streets of his city, of his hometown, and they keep keep doing 